bạn ấy hay kia một nhà mà chỉ kịp về và đại sứ tu ban này quyên một quan thì kẹt trong quyên một best talent và tiếp sau và là all the shot Nih, bang Hai sebab tapi pi peti. Kanada. Kanada. They're a clever bunch. Now, in 15 minutes, we'll soon be crowning a new Miss World. It'll be one of these beautiful ladies. Let's now meet them one at a time, beginning with Miss France. Please step forward, Miss France. Looking very nice. Now, before we go any further, it's a very special evening for all of us this evening because in the audience, we have a very special lady. Her name is Denise Perrier. She was the first, well, she was the first Miss World for France back in 1953, six years ago to the day. Please welcome Denise Perrier. Denise now we're now going to look at your Miss World journey and then give you 30 seconds to tell the judges why you should be Miss World. So let's find out more about you. I'm 20 years old and I study medicine at the university. I would like to become a pediatrician because I care about, uh, really about children. I would like to travel and help them with my, with my degree of medicine. If I'm here today, it's thanks to my grandmother uh, because since I'm young, uh, she told me every time uh, that uh, I'm looking like a Miss France. It was her dream and uh, when she died the day I had uh, 18, and uh, so I made the promise to her to try to participate and that's why I'm here uh, today so 
I miss, I miss you then. I love you. Damn. Well, Miss France, this is your chance to tell the judges here why you should be Miss World. Now I know that we have an interpreter here for you as well. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. For me, it will be an honor to become Miss World because it's a very and meet people all around the world and try to help them. So um, I think I'm someone natural and generous. That's it. I wish you a good evening. Thank you, Let's meet Philippines. <laughs> Well, you might have recognized that wasn't you. We like to keep our contestants on their toes. In the meantime, you seem to have so much support here, Miss Philippines. I agree with you. I think we have got half of the Philippines here. And I'm just going to say that I'm 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 going to say the Filipinos are hardworking. Hey, we, we can do this no matter what happens, no matter what um, crisis we go through. We're willing to help other people. It would be an honor to be a part of the Miss World Organization. And I'm sure that the Filipinos will be right behind me. They'll be in the journey to Miss World as well. My mom has really been a big influence to me. Ever since she moved to the States, I have been taking care of my brother and my sister on my own. I just want to really make her proud and show her that even if she's not there, even if my dad isn't there, that, <laughs> that I can take care of them. I miss them a lot. Yeah, it's Philippines. I'm going to make my mascara run. What's going on? It's your turn. Tell the judges why you should be Miss World. Salamat malam, Indonesia. And this world for me treasures the core values of humanity and that guides her into understanding people, why they act the way that they do, how they live in their lives. And I will use these core values and my understanding not only in helping others but to show other people how they can understand others, to help others, so that as one, together, we shall help society. Thank you. The Miss World organization embodies beauty with a purpose and that is something that I want to identify with. I told my dad I wanted to do pageantry. He said, you want to leave medical school and do that? And I said, oh, it's, it's a good avenue for me. And because of the things I want to do, I think it's also because I'm like reaching out to a lot of people. He said, okay, this is what you just go ahead and do it. I feel like I've reached a point in my life where I want to help people. I don't know why I'm taking time off school to do that. So. Uh, my first year I was in the same way we are in the same way we all do something crazy <laughs> thank you Miss Ghana that's a killer smile you've got there as well I give you the judges good evening Indonesia I believe um, a Miss World should be someone who 
is a woman of substance who is compassionate and who truly embodies beauty with a purpose. If I'm given this once in a lifetime opportunity, I'll wake up each day knowing that I have an image to keep to influence the lives of young people, especially young women, and to make an impact in the lives of the less privileged. Thank you. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, the crowd is not happy with that Ada. speech. No. Thank you, Ghana. No. Miss Brazil, no. come and join me. Lovely to see you this evening. Are you well? I'm happy. Um, yes. Well, we're going to have a little look at yeah. yeah. what you've been up to, Miss Brazil. Miss Brazil. Sempre com sorrisos e sempre cumprimentando e recebendo a gente bem. E é muito importante essa recepção carinhosa que tivemos aqui. Afinal do Miss Mundo, os meus familiares não vêm, porque é longe também, nós não temos condições de fazer toda essa viagem. Mas eles vão estar em casa assistindo pela internet e torcendo do mesmo jeito. Miss Brazil, the way to uh, yeah, the I'll give you the judges. We also have a uh, translator here for you. Eu vejo Miss Mor como uma referência mundial de valores. E o Beleza com Propósito mostra que o concurso não busca apenas beleza exterior, mas busca também uma pessoa sensível, de caráter e disposta a trabalhar para ajudar as pessoas que necessitam. Esse é o verdadeiro papel de uma Miss. Miss so Miss Rowe as a reflection of the values that the world should have. She likes the fact that it does not only focus on the exterior beauty, but also shows a sensitive person that is willing to work and help all the people that need. Eu sinto que estou preparada e disposta a exercer esse trabalho. Eu sei que como Miss World eu posso fazer a diferença na vida de muitas pessoas. Beauty opens doors, but beauty with purpose opens minds and hearts. Thank you. With the Miss World, that she is able to help many people, um, and she thinks that she is has the strength to uh, help many people through Miss World, and she believes that if everybody does their part, we can make this a better world. And as she said, beauty opens doors, but beauty with a purpose opens minds and hearts. Miss Spain, come and have a chat with me. Looking lovely. Okay, so before we have that chat, let's see how your journey in Miss World has gone. <laughs> I'm happy because I have uh, achieved to show people that I have energy to do it. Um, Spain never has win a Miss World competition, so I will be the first in winning this competition, so it would be incredible for me. <laughs> Wonderful. So, Miss Spain, is that moment that you've been waiting for? Good evening. Well, I would like to say that um, to those people who really need help, I would like to say that with effort and with illusion, all in this life can achieve because they must fight for their dreams because I have to do it and it is possible. So I will give to those people who really not need help all my energies, all my passion to make their life a little bit more easier and more happier. That's it. Thank you. Wonderful yeah. answer. Thank you, Mr. Yeah. Thank you, Spain. And finally, a big cup Gibraltar. Cheering you on there. Great team that you have.
I'm 22 years old and I currently work in elderly care. My belief of um, the Miss World crown is it's not about having nice hair and having nice makeup or having nice clothes. It's more about getting on, down on your hands and knees and, and really giving back to, to the world because you are blessed that you have a great life yourself. My biggest influence in my life so far has to be my parents. They taught me just to be respectful and to be kind and to be humble, which is why I am the way I am. So I'm extremely, extremely grateful for that. Well done, Gibraltar. Well, you are the people's choice. What do you have to say to our judges to convince them that you should be their choice as well? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I believe I should be the next Miss World because I want to be Miss World for all the right reasons. The reasons being that I want genuinely to help people in need. I don't want to be Miss World so I can get my hair done or feel glamorous because those things aren't what help the disadvantaged. Those things aren't the things that change people's lives. Stuff like beauty from within and kindness are the things that change people's lives and I truly believe that kindness is the language that the deaf can hear and the blind can see. Thank you. Well done, Gibraltar, and I think she proved clearly why she is the people's choice. And of course, thank you, ladies. You can all just breathe again now. I know that was absolutely petrifying. Right, it's time now to leave the judges deliberating. In the meantime, let's go see what Daniel's up to. Well, I'm actually right here standing, you know, watching everything's going on. But it's pretty cool. Anyway, I'm glad I'm not a judge, actually. How do you actually decide between them? Whoever wins, her life will change forever. As last year's winner well knows, it's been a life-changing year for Wen Xia Yu. Nah. อันนี้ก็คือบรรทบที่ที่กีฬาบอลฮานจูนบาร์เนวอตเตอร์เมียนบาร์เนวอตเตอร์เมียนบาร์เนวอตเตอร์เมียนบาร์เนวอตเตอ
Pukachi, Pukachi. Well, we've just seen what a year it's been for you, but I know there's one dream you have yet to fulfill, and that is to sing opera on the big stage. So, tonight, before you crown your next successor, we're making this dream come true. When shall you? To join you in a special performance, we present the runner-up and the winner from the talent final, Australia's Erin Holland and Indonesia's Fania Larissa. ฉันเป็นงานในสิ่งที่ในทางการศึกษาที่ต่างประเทศทำจากการเชื่อมโยงกับโอเปร่าหรือเอาโดยดิจิมินโรกันยาโดริชาให้นั่งมือรูเทีย